Okay, right, so, listen up, boys and girls. Now, this is gonna be my last video until after Christmas now, because, well, next Sunday's Boxing Day, and I don't plan to be sober from about the 24th to the 27th, so you got no hope. Anyway, right, what are we gonna do today? Now, these things here, sweet potatoes. I've just realized I've stolen this bag. You're supposed to pay for this bag, aren't you? It's reusable, I just put the potatoes in it and then just pay for the potatoes. Sorry Sainsbury's, I, I stole a bag off you. But anyway, I've got some sweet potatoes, right? We all know what they are. I'm not that arsed about them to be fair. Like, I'm sorry, but a normal potato is far, far superior. Okay, these things, they're all right. People just kind of have these, don't know if they're on a diet or go into the gym. You've had, you've had your supper. You can't have any more, all right? Because you'll get fat. No one likes a fat pussy. Not, not massively keen on the sweet potato, which I'm really selling this video then, aren't I? Because that's what we're doing. But I have a way of turning these things into something magnificent, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. But listen, before we dive in, do the usual thing. Like, share, and subscribe, because that would be amazing. Thank you very much. So come on, get your fizz up down here. Let's start this sweet potato mash. Well, we'll need to preheat the oven. Do that first. Right, so we've got our sweet potatoes, our spuds. Now all I've done is just give them a quick rinse, give them a quick wash. It's not like super important because we're going to peel them anyway, but you know, they've been sitting loose on a supermarket shelf. Dog could have weed on them. <laughs> so just give them a quick scrub and all we're going to do is just kind of prick them with a knife. Just a few holes. This stops them exploding. Okay, and then we're just going to pop them straight into a roasting tray. And of course, we're gonna level up this sweet potato mash. We're gonna add some roasted garlic. So I've got a whole head of garlic here. And all I'm gonna do is just down the middle, let me see, get you, get you in closer. Just take a sharp knife and then straight down the middle in half and pray they don't fall apart. So there we go. So it exposes the cloves like that, you see. Then what we're gonna do, is gonna take some tin foil. We're gonna nestle our garlic on there. Don't waste the, the top parts, we'll have them as well. Once they're in there like that, we're gonna take some olive oil. Just kind of drizzle a bit of olive oil over the top. Doesn't need a lot. Yeah, splash more. Okay, and then all I'm gonna do is just scrunch that up, just like that, into a little parcel. And then we're gonna put that on the roasting tray as well. And then all we're gonna do now is get these suckers in the oven. It's easy, this. It's cooking lark. So they've gone into a preheated oven. That's on about gas mark six. Uh, I don't know what that is. About 190, 200 degrees Celsius. I'll put the conversions up. What are you moaning at? He's whining at the moment. I know why, it's because he wants his treats, which means also quickly, I need to give a quick thanks to, uh, well, you need to say thank you really, don't you? You've got to say thanks to Mr. Kraska. Thank you, Rich, he says. Oh my God. Sent him a load of chicken liver sticks. As you can see he likes them. <laughs> so I'll let you down so you can finish it. Right, yeah, so those have gone into a preheated oven and the garlic and the potato should take about the same time to cook. So you're looking at about 40 to 50 minutes. Check it halfway through, see how it's getting on. If the garlic's done before, just take it out, leave it to one side. We're gonna smoosh it up and add it to the mash anyway. But anyway, look, these are gonna cook away. Come back in a second, we'll move on to the next step. It's just not as good, are they? As, as normal potatoes. They're sort of like that disappointing family member of the potato world. You know, like that sort of cousin or uncle that was just, just disappoints everybody in the family. Like he was arrested for drink driving, robbed a post office, you know, spitting at children. Just no one really, really likes him. He's sort of, you know, awkward. It's awkward at Christmas because you have to invite him. It's sort of like an outcast. That's, that's what a sweet potato is. It's, a, it's the outcast of the potato world. I'm really selling this recipe, aren't I? It is good though. Would it, be, would it be better made with normal potatoes? Probably yes. But we're doing it with sweet potatoes and, and it will be nice. It will be lovely. Won't it, old Cliffy boy? Christmas time, mistletoe and white. Let's go to go to go. Sake. 
potatoes are actually taking longer than I thought. Uh, they're about 80% done and they've been in there for about an hour. So what I've done is I've taken the garlic out because that's already done. That took about 40 minutes. That can sit to one side while the potatoes are finishing off. What we need to do now, chop some rosemary. You wanna make sure that you chop it really, really fine. And the reason for that is if you don't, then you're gonna end up with like tough, woody bits of rosemary in your mash and you don't want that. And also you've gotta make sure is you don't put in too much because rosemary is a very strong herb, okay? If you just kind of rub it with your fingers like that, give it a sniff, it smells pungent. So we don't need an awful lot. I'm gonna say for the amount of mash that we've got, mm, probably a bit more. So about one and a half sprigs worth and just take off the leaves. Okay, just want the leaves on that. Pick off any woody bits of stalk. So just kind of take your time, take your knife and just kind of chop it up. The finer you can get it, the less likely you're gonna get bits of rosemary stuck in your teeth. There you go, that's kind of what you're looking for. Nice and finely chopped. So that can now go and sit in a little dish ready for the mash to be done. 2,000 years later. There's our sweet potatoes. They actually took about an hour and 20 minutes. Longer than I thought. For some reason I thought sweet potatoes cooked quicker than like your normal spuds. But they are done. Nice and soft and squidgy but we now need to get them out of their skins and into a bowl. So I'm gonna take our potato um, and I'm just gonna kind of score it along and then just peel it. Be careful because it's gonna be like stupidly hot. Maybe a good idea to kind of wait for a bit until they cool down slightly, but I ain't got time for that, I ain't got the patience. There's our sweet potato, stick it in a bowl and then do the rest. So there's all the flesh from the sweet potatoes. It's still nice and hot, so don't worry about that. But have a look in here. Have a little delve in my little parcel of joy. This is our roasted garlic. And you can see, look, how puddingly soft that garlic is. That is nice and soft and just, oh, it's just gonna be amazing. We can eat that as it is, spread out some toast. Roasted garlic, it's amazing. So all I'm gonna do is just take the garlic and you'll see as I squeeze it, oh, we don't want the paper in there, that pop in a zit or boil on your back. Then I'm gonna chuck in the rosemary. And I've also got some unsalted butter. I'm gonna add a good old dollop of that. And the reason I use unsalted is because, you know, you can add your seasonings at the end. You can add as much or as little salt as you need. If you use salted butter, you've got less control. So that's why I use it. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a nice big chunk like that. I'm also gonna add a few twists of black pepper. And then all it is, is a case of simply mashing it up. Um, you can put it through a potato ricer, um, but it's not necessary with sweet potato, I don't think, because it's quite a soft kind of potato as it is. So just kind of spend some time, use your fork, get it mashed. Definitely need some salt, I know that. So I'm gonna add a pinch in there. This is my favorite, and probably only way, that I like to eat sweet potatoes. So there we go, sweet potato mash. Mash it all up, add, add salt and pepper. You've got your rosemary, you've got our roasted garlic in there. It is next level sweet potato mash. Nice alternative for your Christmas lunch. Obviously you've got to have roast potatoes, that's a given. But if you have a mash with it, why not switch it up? Have this instead. To me, it's the only way to eat sweet potatoes. I mean, I've made wedges with them before and they're okay, but but I find, you know, making them like this just actually makes them delicious. You might love sweet potatoes. If that's the case, leave a comment and tell me I'm wrong. Serve that with your turkey on Christmas Day and your guests will love you forever. Or hate you forever. But who cares? It doesn't matter because if they're in your house, you can kick them out. F*** them. But listen, I'm going to bugger off. I'm going to make my tea. Have some mash with it. If you enjoyed this video, then do the usual thing. Like, share and subscribe. Share it to your friends and family and your arch nemesis. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ta-ta for now. You all right, bud? Yeah.